Hello viewers, you are welcome to Babai Riyagbe TV. My name is Alagba Rashid Adibola. Good day. Eku de de wo yo, bubu e yinti e nwo wa. Ekabo, si Babai Riyagbe TV. Uru kwa ome ni Alagba Rashid Adibola. I am presenting this my program in English. And at the same time, I will be doing the interpretation in Yoruba for the benefit of non-English speakers. Today, we are focusing on a very, very strong and powerful plant. Look at it very well. A very, very powerful but simple plant. This plant I'm holding, look at it very well. Is called Ephobia Ita. Ephobia Ita is its name. It could be found anywhere. You can see it on the, the edge of the road, on lawns, and on the farm. When it is prominent on farmer's farm, it is regarded as weed. Scientists and researchers, they have done a very good work on this phobia eater. When they research into it, they have brought out so many valuable importance of the weed. Ephobia eater, as you are seeing it, is a very, very powerful plant. In some places, they call it asthma plant. That is a pointer to you that one of the uses is that it can be used to control asthma. Ephobia eater. This is the miracle plant, medicinal plant, that has valuable uses of which I will tell you today. Don't forget to subscribe on Babai Riyagbe TV for more information relevant to agriculture and for more uses of medicinal plants. How to use it is the next thing I will tell all of us. Ephobia Ita is a prominent and powerful plant to control or to prevent or to treat cough. Different types of cough, Ephobia eater will take care of it. There are so many people that have used this Ephobia eater and testimonies are abound on how miraculously it has worked. Ephobia eater, when you want to treat it against cough and cold, you remove it, a whole plant as I'm holding, together with the root, Ephobia eater. You wash thoroughly and you boil for 5 to 10 minutes. When you boil for 5 to 10 minutes, you allow it to cool and you drink it two times a day. Two times a day in the morning and in the evening. Ephobia eater we take care of different types of cough. For asthma patients, uproot Ephobia eater as I'm holding it like this. Wash it thoroughly and take guava leaves with it. Boil the two together and drink two times a day in the morning and in the evening. Ewe ti momu la woyi. Ini mi. Awan o lo yi bo mpwe ni ifo bi a ita. Awan baba awa. Loko. Mwa aman kwe ni ewe e gele. Ni bo mi. Mwa aman kwe ni kana jobe. Ni ba. Ni bo mi. Mwa asi toman kwe ni. Ewe e mele. Asi toman jen ewe e le. Ni awan adubo kan. Gaga bi a she ma amu walori e to yi. Ewe kan. Ama ni oru kobi ori shi meji. Si meta. 
dake jado wa dubo ibi ti oba wa ewe ti momu lo wa yi ewe egele tabi ewe emile tabi ewe kana jogbe yi oma wa lori oko ka akiri lodo awon agbe gege bi eko sugba awon ni se iwadi won ti se ise to peye lori ewe ti momu lowo yi lati ri wi pe eni ti ko ba le midele ti won pe ni asma bi ko en ti o le midele bi yoba mu yo le tete lo ba kan na ni orisirisi ko ti amo e je ki atu bi mo se mu lowo yi ka se nu daada ka se lori ina fun bi se jumarun si mewa to ba tutu ki a ri wi pe a mu le mi ji lojumo yala ni owo aro tabi ni owo asale what i have said is the interpretation of my presentation in english don't forget what we have said today on this phobia eta it is very very powerful a medicinal plant and as you are seeing it when you approach it like this you can equally wash and shade dry when you shade dry by the time you want to process let it be in the sun for one or two hours then you can make sure you grind don't blend but grind into powdery form and you take it as tea against asthma against different types of cough against cold and all related respiratory diseases don't forget to subscribe on Baba Iri Agbe TV for more information on medicinal plant. Until I bring another plant to your views again. My name is Alagba Rashid Adimola Adibola. You can reach me on 080-340-34381. 080-340-34381. Echo me, Alagba Rashid Adimola Adibola. Load is 080-340-3481. Emang bagwe, la ti te mo fe ge ako kwa. Ki yale ba agba nou ara wa. Titi di yasiko mi, ti atuma amon tonton wa. Gwe gwa wa agbe, a ni roko fe ye ge o.